Warren C. Miller, born in March 1881, died on the 23rd of August, 1941, buried at the Red Hook Methodist Church. His grave features a small metal marker provided by the funeral home, misplaced, wedged by George Fraley's granite marker, northwest side of the cemetery near the tree line. Warren C. Miller was the son of Reuben Miller and Mary Palmier of Red Hook. In the 1900 census, he was enumerated in his parents' house on Prince Street as a 30-year-old ice man, a specialist in harvesting ice from ponds and streams. He married a woman named Olive on December 15, 1908, in Red Hook, and had two daughters, Dorothy and Margaret. On Monday, June 25, 1923, Miller and his friends Sylvester Holt and Frank Van Wagner went out drinking. This would be a perfectly normal activity had it not occurred during Prohibition. They drank hard cider and became sufficiently inebriated to be arrested for drunk and disorderly conduct. On the same night, three barns owned by John Kuhn burned to the ground. The structures and their contents were lost, including a team of horses and a Ford car. Shortly after firemen had finished fighting the blaze, another popped up, this time to the east of town at the box factory connected with the chocolate factory, a large building filled with lumber. Losses at both sites totaled $10,000 some of it covered by insurance. Because the fires seemed suspect, and there had been several blazes in recent weeks, the police interviewed Miller and his friends. Miller admitted to setting the Coon Barns ablaze, helping the firefighters to put it out, then crossing town to set the chocolate factory, his former place of employment, on fire as well. In his confession, Miller said that while he was under the influence of hard cider, he wanted excitement, so he started the blaze in order to help the firemen extinguish them. While Miller's friends received punishments of ten days imprisonment for drunk and disorderly behavior, Miller faced four indictments. The charges included two counts of arson in the second and third degrees, and two counts of unlawful entry of a building with intent to commit a felony. He opted to be tried before a jury and was sentenced to a minimum of seven years, six months, at Sing Sing Prison. A year later, 90 Red Hook residents signed a petition asking the New York Supreme Court to release Miller out on probation because he was in poor health and he had a wife and children to provide for. Governor Alfred E. Smith commuted his sentence on February 15, 1926, to two years and four months with time served, and Miller was released. In 1930, he appeared in the census with his wife and daughters as a 50-year-old laborer, working odd jobs and living on Railroad Avenue in Red Hook. Miller died on August 23, 1941, at the age of 62. In 2019, his small metal marker was found pressed into the ground in front of John and Irene Fraley's tombstone. There is no relation between these families, so it is thought that a visitor found it loose and did their best to secure it. <laughs>